Hello. Today, I will explain how to perform Hyper-V storage migration for a virtual machine. By default, virtual machines on my test Hyper-V host are stored in the C drive. But it is not recommended that you store VM files on system disk C. I will migrate my VM virtual disk from drive C to drive E. There are several methods to perform storage migration for Hyper-V virtual machines. I will cover three methods, first, using Hyper-V Manager, then using PowerShell, and finally using Windows Admin Center. Let's go over Hyper-V Manager method. Open Hyper-V Manager and then open Server Manager. In the Server Manager, click Tools and hit Hyper-V Manager. I have a running Windows VM, and I can migrate the virtual disks of a running VM with Hyper-V Manager. Right-click the virtual machine and, in the context menu, click Move. The new VM migration wizard opens. Click Next to continue. In the Choose Move Type section, click Move the virtual machine storage. Then, click Next. In the Choose Move Options section, you can specify what exactly you want to move. You have three options. Move all of the VM's data to a single location, or move the VM's data to different locations, or move only the VM's virtual hard disks. Select the option you need and configure the rest by following the prompts. In this tutorial, I want to demonstrate how VHDX files can be moved. Thus, I click Move only the virtual machine's virtual hard disks. Click Next. In the Select Items to Move section, you can select the virtual hard disks that you want to migrate by selecting the corresponding box. My VM has one virtual disk and this virtual disk is selected. Hit Next. In the Next section, you can select a target location for the VM's virtual hard disk. In my example, the destination path is E, VM, that is, in drive E. Click Browse and set the target location. I set E, VM as the target location. Click Next to continue. In the Summary section, you can look through the list of all the selections which are about to be implemented. Click Finish to close the wizard and start the operation. The Hyper-V storage migration process can take some time. Let's wait for the operation to complete. The virtual machine storage migration is done. The virtual machine is still in a running state. If I check the destination folder for the virtual disk migration, we can see the moved virtual disk of my Windows VM. Let's check the virtual disk location in virtual machine settings. Right-click the VM in the Hyper-V Manager and click Settings. Click the corresponding hard drive and check the virtual disk path. As you can see, the VM configuration has been adjusted accordingly after the virtual disk migration to another location. You can specify how many storage migrations can be performed simultaneously on the selected host. To check and edit this setting, open Hyper-V Manager, right-click the Hyper-V host name and click Hyper-V Settings. Click on the Storage Migrations section in the left pane. The default number of simultaneous storage migrations is 2. You can change this value if needed. Before I proceed, let me quickly tell you about Nikivo Backup and Replication and how it can help you protect your Hyper-V workloads. Nikivo Backup and Replication is a comprehensive data protection solution that you can use to protect all your workloads from a single pane of glass, whether it's Hyper-V, VMware, Proxmox, Nutanix or physical servers. Backups are fast, thanks to the integration of native APIs to create incremental backups. Backups can be protected against cyber threats like ransomware with immutability and encryption. Once a backup is created, you have multiple instant recovery options from instant VM recovery to instant recovery of Microsoft application objects. You can learn more about the solution by going to www.nikivo.com. Now let's continue with our second method to perform basic Hyper-V storage migration by using PowerShell. First of all, let's check where the VM's virtual hard disk that we want to move is currently stored. You can check the virtual disk location in the VM configuration by opening Hyper-V Manager. Right-click the VM in Hyper-V Manager, click the virtual hard drive and check the virtual disk location. The source virtual disk location of my VM is Drive C, as it was in the first example. Open PowerShell as administrator. Click Start, right-click PowerShell and hit Run as administrator in the context menu. Run the command for VM storage migration. In this example, the command is move dash vm storage single quote windows dash vm single quote dash destination storage path e colon backward slash vm where single quote windows dash vm singe quote is the virtual machine name e colon backward slash vm is the destination path to move the virtual disk of the virtual machine hit enter to run the command 
wait until the Hyper-V VM storage migration is completed. Let's check the destination folder and verify whether the virtual disk is present in this folder after the storage migration. The VHDX virtual disk file has been moved successfully to the destination folder. Additionally, you can check whether the VM configuration is updated to reflect the new virtual disk location. Right-click the VM in Hyper-V Manager, click Settings and navigate to the appropriate hard disk in the left pane of the Settings window. The virtual disk path has been updated as a result of virtual disk storage migration. Hyper-V storage migration was completed successfully using PowerShell. The third method of Hyper-V VM storage migration is similar to the first one when we used Hyper-V Manager. The third method involves using Windows Admin Center that you can access in the web browser after installing the required packages. Open a web browser and enter the hostname of your Hyper-V host. In my case, the hostname of my Hyper-V host running Hyper-V 2019 is Win2019. Enter the administrative credentials to log in. Click the name of the Hyper-V host where the VM, which virtual disk you want to migrate, is located. Click Virtual Machines in the navigation pane to open the virtual machine list. My VM is in a running state, just like in the previous examples, and the source virtual disk location is also Drive C. Select the VM, click Manage and hit Move Storage. The source virtual disk path is displayed. The destination location for the VM storage migration will be Drive E. Ensure that the destination folder exists. Go back to Windows Admin Center and click Browse to move virtual machine storage. Click the pencil icon to edit the path for VM virtual disks. Enter the new destination path for VM disks and hit Enter. Click OK to save the settings. The new virtual disk path is saved. Click the Move button to start the Hyper-V VM storage migration. When prompted, Enter the administrative credentials to move the virtual machine disks. Click Continue. Click the bell icon to view the storage migration status. Wait until the migration process is completed. Check the destination folder to ensure that the VM virtual disk has moved. To check the virtual disk configuration of the VM in Windows Admin Center, select the VM and click Settings. Click Disks on the VM Settings page and check the virtual disk location. The new virtual disk location is applied in the VM configuration. Hyper-V storage migration was completed successfully. It's important to note that storage migration can be a risky process resulting in unexpected failures and data loss. You should always use a data protection solution to protect your workloads wherever they reside, whether in virtual environment, in the cloud or on physical servers. Nikivo Backup and Replication is a universal backup solution that delivers flexible deployment on different platforms, fast and efficient backups and instant recoveries for the shortest recovery objectives. You can easily try the solution in your own environment by downloading the free trial and get access to all the advanced backup, disaster recovery and ransomware protection features for 15 days.